Welcome to Net Equalizer Tech Talk videos. This video in our series was shot during a Net Equalizer technical seminar held in spring 2011 at Biola University. This brief video contains clips of highlights from our CTO's presentation on YouTube caching. YouTube caching was released in our NCO add-on feature in early 2011 for the Net Equalizer 3000 and 4000 series. Um, YouTube caching it was just overwhelmingly requested, and especially in the last couple of years with uh, with the YouTube and the video and the Netflix passing peer to peer as the major thing. I think I don't know what the percentages are. I don't know if I'm going to quote it right, but you know, peer to peer was probably 90% of the problem traffic five, four years ago, and now the peer to peer is you know way down here, and the and the YouTube is it's not necessarily problem traffic, but it's it's nothing anybody planned for. Nobody, nobody envisioned doing a video content network at a university three or four years ago. You know, it was sort of like a toy, and now it seems to be, you know, that's all you see on TV with Comcast all day is, you know, content, content, content. But everybody's promise, way over promising. Um, is there anything I can do to make the YouTube go faster? I don't know. It's, it's, it's 1.5 megabits per stream and you've got a 50 megabit pipe and you've got 2,000 students. Uh, so I did the math real quick, so that means you can have about uh, 10 or 15 YouTube simultaneously out of your 2,000 students and you've used your whole network. You go to 100 meg if you want, you go to 150 meg, now you can do 30 students or 40 students out of your 2,000. So you, you, you just can't go out there, and, I, and, and you know, that's such a small percentage because you figure the evening entertainment wise or if they're using it as part of the regular study, you got to figure you know, 5, 10, 15 percent may want to use it at the same time. So either you got to put your pipe appropriately sized or tell them, you know, you're going to have to wait in line while that, while that video queues up. And there was no magic that, that, that any bandwidth control unit could do other than leaps into YouTube is, is caching. So caching is, is, is a double edged sword because the amount of content that's on the internet is, out, is on the internet for a reason. It's the only place that it can store it, right? In other words, if everybody could cache the entire internet, then, then everybody would cache the entire internet. So the question is, what do you cache and how effective it will be? And what we've seen in the trials are that, what, what, I did, did a little bit of research, and let's say there's one, two, three, four, five million YouTubes that are out there. I don't know what the number is. Maybe it's 50 million, but it's, it's, it's quite a few. But YouTube plays like the top 40. You know, there's, there's always the, the ones that are passing around that are popular, the guy, you know, the cat that, you know, gets, you know, does something funny. And those are the ones on the front page that are getting 10 million views, the Shakira video. And so if you can cash, if you say there's, there's a top 100 that get maybe, let's say, 25% of the YouTube hits, if you can get those in your cash, well, now you've got a leg up. The way we did, the way we decided on YouTube is we know YouTube files are between several meg and ten meg, or again I don't have the numbers, but but the idea is we don't want to cache everything, and so so we've got it narrowed down. So we're just going to you know, mostly cache YouTube. Some stuff will sneak in there. So now we can go out with a 64 gig SSD drive, uh, and I think that'll 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 maybe. Roughly a thousand, a thousand YouTube's have been on there. So that's how I came up with these numbers. So if it's the top 100, so assuming the top 100 are in there and the other 900 are just randomly chosen YouTube's, they probably won't be of any use because somebody watches an obscure YouTube and sits in the cache, it's going to get kicked out after a week and it's not going to get any value at the university. You know. But the ones that are watched over and over again will. So that's the YouTube caching. 